I'd like to present to you the Eyes of the Extra Universe, which is an exhibit that me and my parents actually developed um, over the summer. So um, I'm pretty sure you guys use the visible telescope before. Um, you know, you held one up. And it's actually even a really big visible telescope in space called the Hubble Space Telescope. And the way how that gathers light is it has a really kind of big makeup mirror, you know, so the actresses use, and it helps gather the visible light. But we care about X-rays. So all these lasers represent X-ray light coming from a very hot object. And here are the mirrors. As we see, we had exhibitors coming over. <laughs> and uh, switch this over. When I turn these lasers off, we see one singular point. And this is our reference point. When I turn these lasers on, I want to have all these points of light overlap the reference point. And when I do this, in essence, I'm creating a focal point. And a focal point is when an image is in focus. And um, if you wear glasses like myself, you know, when I take off my glasses, everything is out of focus and it's really blurry. So our mirrors actually, you know, when they align like this, it helps correct that. So things actually look in focus and clear. And besides um, establishing a focal point, there's also a quality of the or in terms of resolution. And that's dependent on the smoothness of the mirror. So when I switch from rough to smooth, we notice that you know what used to be a singular point coming from these lasers is now you know kind of spread out. What's really special about Shonda's mirrors is, of course, it's well aligned to bring the light to a focal point because we're gathering and bringing extra light to a focal point is very hard. But these mirrors are so well polished, and you know when we think of a mirror, of course they're polished. But Mirrors on a microscopic level actually have bumps. And a bump on a sh one of Chandra's mirrors is smaller than the size of an atom. That's pretty remarkable. Um, you know, that's why Chandra's able to have very high quality extra images. So we see here, we have the Rosa telescope, which was developed before Chandra. And we have the Chandra telescope. These are both images of the same object called Kinematic. Rosette doesn't really tell us so much information because of its poor resolution. Chandra's superior resolution, its detailed images tell us, hey, there's uh, a pulsar there, which actually spins really fast and goes in the X rays actually come from objects that are tens of millions of degrees. So, extremely, extremely hot objects like black holes and um, newly formed stars and things like that. Um, so what ha what's happening in this model is inside of Chandra's, Chandra's detector does move and it moves so that the image can become focused. So if we notice, when the further back you pull it, the stars become clearer. So this is called the Eagle Nebula. It's a star forming nebula, which means right now stars are being formed in this nebula. This is taken with NASA's Great Observatory Hubble, an optical telescope, and this is taken with NASA's, NASA's Great Observatory Chandra. But why does it look so different? Objects that emit visible light are about 10,000 degrees Kelvin, and objects that emit X-ray light are millions, tens of millions of degrees Kelvin. So everything in this image is much hotter than everything in this image. However, if we only had one telescope, we'd only get one side of the story. And that's why it's so special to have multiple telescopes. So, this is the CCD right here. So, the CCD stands for charge couple device. So, the charge couple device basically looks like this. It's a little chip. So, this is the CCD and these are the pixels. I'm going to have this and the marbles represent the light particles. So the light falls into different pixels. So this part right here is the serial register. So as the serial register works along with the CCD, everything, the light, the photons move down a row at a time until it reaches the serial register where it gets red and shifted to the side. I'm just gonna push this. So right there, and I'm gonna push this. 
So with the detector sheet, I'll write it down. So two, six, two. The bigger the number of light particles that fell in each pixel, the brighter that spot's gonna be. So something like this would be a zero. That would be a zero. This would be a 10 because it's, really, it's already really bright. Maybe this would be a five. So if I draw, say, a 10 right here and a 10 right about here, I draw a 10 right there, I draw a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So as everything else gets filled in, you can see very clearly the smiley face.